we're celebrating the premiere of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, streaming on Amazon Prime. Who gives a toast at her own wedding? I do. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things that drew me to Midge is that I realized as I was reading this how few unapologetically confident women I read. It's a very hard part. We needed a supreme actress with unbelievable, unshakable confidence and a face that you never get tired of looking at. And, oh, you had to believe she could be a stand-up comic. Who wouldn't want to come home to this every night? A housewife from the Upper West Side, and she finds herself drawn into the 1950s coffee house comedy scene. It takes place in the 50s and just being on a set where it's you're surrounded by these old cars and you get to wear the old costumes. It's an extraordinary group of people that are working on it, so I feel amazingly lucky. With people like Tony Shalhoub and Alex Borstein around every day is some new hilarious thing that keeps us keeps us laughing. It's been a great experience for us. They just gave us all the resources we needed to bring 1958 New York City alive on the streets, which takes a lot. This comedy thing, it has to work. Amy has a crystal clear vision. In terms of timeliness and what's in the zeitgeist, it's a woman dealing with a man's world. We're still as women kind of winning a lot of battles, but we're fighting the same war. A lot of the themes and the, the issues that we're still dealing with on the show, particularly as they pertain to women, are still things that we're talking about today, still battles that we're fighting today. It's for optimists. It's these little ants trying to move a rubber tree plant. It's got a lot of energy, and it's got a fun, fabulous Mr. Toad's Wild Ride aspect to it. It's a good ride. People are going to love it. Hi, everybody. It's been a real pleasure and a joy to bring to life.